Hey everybody, Mike here. The FCC has just released their list of applicants for the Rural Digital Opportunity Fund, which will pay out $16 billion to ISPs over 10 years to roll out internet service to underserved areas of the United States. On the list, SpaceX's Starlink service. Although it looks like it might be just a little bit too late for SpaceX to get any of that money. All the details, coming up. There are around 500 companies vying for some of that $16 billion. If SpaceX gets even a small part, they'll be the first low Earth orbit satellite program to be funded under any of the FCC rural broadband programs. The Rural Digital Opportunity Fund and the predecessor funds from the FCC are designed to allow wired and ground-based wireless providers to expand their network into regions where they really wouldn't expand otherwise. For more information on the FCC programs, check out the links below for all the references. Now SpaceX doesn't actually have to build anything additional that they're not already building for their Starlink service. That doesn't exclude them from the program though. Viasat last year was awarded just over $87 million in a similar situation, no extra infrastructure to build. But that money was specifically allocated so they could offer lower prices and higher data caps in the areas identified by the FCC. So potentially, SpaceX can apply for money under a similar regime to offer discounted prices for Starlink in those areas identified by the FCC. Now, we don't really have any information about Starlink pricing in general or what it might look like subsidized by the FCC. If you wanna get updates on all the latest on Starlink, subscribe down below and hit the bell icon so you get notified of all my videos as soon as they go up. Really the big question is, will SpaceX be allowed to compete in the low latency category for under 100 milliseconds? The FCC has given a blanket statement that no satellite provider will be allowed to compete in the low latency category, whether they're high Earth, medium Earth, or low Earth orbit. I've done a video already on speed test results from early Starlink beta users. Check it out if you haven't already. And those results clearly show that the latencies, it's definitely possible for them to be well under 100 milliseconds. But the FCC is skeptical that SpaceX can provide those low latencies on a commercial service to basically the scale of the rural broadband use they need. Currently, the SpaceX application is listed as incomplete, and the FCC gives a, a series of reasons why that might be the case. But one of the ones that I think might be relevant here is that it's specifically marked potentially as incomplete because they have claimed a category that the FCC doesn't think they qualify for. Now this is pretty important because incomplete applications only have until September 23rd to finish their application. That's less than a month before SpaceX has to come up with some kind of proof that will convince the FCC that they qualify for the low latency category of less than 100 milliseconds. And it has to be compelling enough that the FCC will backtrack on its previous blanket statement that they weren't going to allow any satellite providers to compete in that category. I've had a lot of comments on my other videos, people pointing out times where the FCC has given out money to ISPs, specifically to roll out broadband to new areas, and then really kind of not doing a very good job of it. So I tend to side with the FCC if they're being uh, skeptical on claims about what a company can do. But in this instance, it feels like they're specifically excluding the potential of Starlink and deciding today, based on 
exactly today's technology, how they're going to spend this money over the next 10 years. Now, this money comes from Americans. It's a fee on your phone bills. Let me know in the comments, how do you think that your money should be spent to put broadband out to the country? If it were my money, if I were paying, I'd want the FCC to be a bit more agile than saying a 10-year program, especially when the technology is moving so fast. If you're getting value from these updates, hit the like button on the video. It really helps the channel to grow. I'm going to keep coming out with more updates. Thanks for watching, everyone. See you next time.